When looking at the design of machine intelligence, we can trace its history from early expert systems to new developments in artificial general intelligence, and we can look forward to a time when computers are supposed to develop a real consciousness. If we were to replicate the inner workings of the human brain, the data produced would give us profound new knowledge about ourselves and could provide new solutions for social and economic issues that have faced humanity for all of recorded history. Early successes with artificial computer intelligence were found in the way of expert systems. Expert systems are computer programs that can quickly and accurately solve problems, but only within a very small set of parameters. The most famous expert system is probably Deep Blue, the IBM computer that beat world champion Garry Kasparov in chess back in 1997. The problem with expert systems, however, is that they are incredibly limited. They are only able to function within the narrowest of parameters, and any variables that they don't understand will crash the program or produce an erroneous result. Because they can't synthesize new information, most of the current development has moved towards artificial general intelligence. The goal of artificial general intelligence is to make machines that can adapt to many situations and eventually provide solutions to any problems that humans may have. Authors such as Drexler, Hall, and Kurzweil predict that within the next 20 years, computers will have enough processing power to match the human brain, and that they will have arrived at some sort of artificial intelligence. One branch of artificial general intelligence looks specifically at reproducing human-like intelligence. This includes human emotions, human memory, and also the elusive human consciousness. The first and foremost problem when dealing with machine consciousness is that we cannot agree on what consciousness actually is in humans, and if or how it exists in other animals. The theoretical debate is still vague, but if we can't define consciousness, how will we know if a machine achieves it? Another problem is the differentiation between machine consciousness and machine modeling of consciousness. When looking at some of the models on which machine consciousness will be based, we see that the programming is developed in modules that interact as part of a self-agent, or the machine's sense of self. I've noticed that the programmers have taken a very behavioralist approach to the creation of these modules. Since each module, whether it is a sensory, an episodic memory, an emotional or other agent, is pre-programmed, it will be difficult to determine if machines have developed behaviors or are modeling programmed behaviors, giving the illusion that they are autonomous. Beyond that, there is also the question of whether consciousness will be programmed or whether it will emerge on its own, transcending the physical limitations of their processors. Many authors have written of the singularity the point in time when computers are intelligent enough to make their own improvements, thereby increasing their own intelligence exponentially with each new revision. This is also known as seed AI and runaway intelligence, and can be seen with either excitement or fear, for us humans at least. This is expressed optimistically by Hall when he wrote, In a world where hyperhuman intelligence is available, it is difficult to see why anyone would want a mere human in charge of anything important. But it is from these fears that science fiction stories like the Terminator series or the Matrix, or like video games such as Too Human, have emerged. One issue with this pessimistic view of the future is that it often assumes that the robots will be united, each connected as part of a larger consciousness. If they are to be conscious beings, then in addition to being attentive and having emotions, they will need a private sense of self, which is disconnected or hidden from all the other machines. Is it likely, then, that a single machine will develop consciousness? Authors like Blackmore look at the possibility of finding consciousness in meme machines, network computers that communicate, reason and differ, but all using a common and constantly changing set of symbols and language. The problem with these, however, is that they need to learn instead of being replicated. They are much more human-like and develop their own personalities, but also require constant social interaction. It's much more like raising them as children instead of producing them as adults. These machines process information quite differently than our desktop computers. Information is not processed in a linear manner, but rather much more like the human brain. Neural networks are emulated by the computer. Emulation requires that the instructions to be translated into a format that can be understood by the processors. The emulation itself requires significant processing power, but not nearly so much as the neural network that runs it. Newer developments like the China Brain Project are actually using networked modules to try to simulate a neural network. The project doesn't produce real-time thinking, but it is a step towards a new method of processing. Unlike many of the leading experts, I'm not optimistic that machines will develop a true form of consciousness such as found in humans within the next 20 years. When we look at computers, we see that the acceleration of computer specifications has changed. 
and we are currently far behind even five-year-old projections used by many authors. Much of the literature speaks of machines transcending this hardware, yet when asked when or at what point, the answer is most often when a computer has the same capacity as a human brain. This assumes that human consciousness is strictly the effect of electrochemical reactions in the brain, and this cannot be proved. Processing power and available memory are not the same as our organic minds, even though computers will soon exceed humans in both. We will likely soon see machines that look like people, or that behave and seem intelligent like people, but I don't foresee a date when machines will have real emotion or a genuine consciousness.